When I think back on when I was Amish, it really feels like such a different world. As time passes, I forget how much wisdom is contained in that way of life. Recently, I visited my family home that I grew up in and I was surprised at what I rediscovered. I got in the saddle for the first time in 15 years. Getting back in touch with that raw, seemingly untamed aspect of my life was a revelation of sorts. It did remind me of things that I do miss from that way of life. The first horse that I got on was very tame. I asked my mom if I could ride the tamer horse because I was expecting to get on the horse and being scared and timid and afraid of them bucking me off. Um, but I got back on and I immediately remembered how sensitive horses are and how, yeah, how sensitive and responsive horses are. Horses want a rider that is in charge and 100% confident with any hesitation on the part of the rider will be noticed immediately. They need to know that the person holding the reins is 100% confident in their ability to control them. You have to earn their respect or you will be tossed aside. <laughs> I ended up having so much fun and being so into the moment I had worn yoga pants instead of long pants and riding boots and I ended up where your foot goes into the stirrup, your leg will rub on the side of the saddle which is why you want to wear jeans and boots. But since I was just wearing yoga pants it ended up rubbing a spot raw on my leg and I knew it was happening but I was just having so much fun that I ignored it and then I ended up getting back on the horse again the next day in the same pants so no i wore jeans the next day um but yeah i had a, i still have a scar from <laughs> that wound healing up and it was a completely it was completely worth the pain in that moment i remembered who i used to be and how much my world has changed since that time But sometimes looking back and realizing what hits you deeply has the biggest impact. Maybe there will be a horse in my future. <laughs> Let me ask my husband.